All right, so we have done our bat survey and now it is time to exclude the bats because we do not have more than 15 bats coming out of that hole. So we are gonna go up there. I'm gonna show you what exactly we're dealing with for the entry exit point for the bats, how we're gonna get them out of there safely and happily so they can find their home somewhere else and what our plan is gonna be to prevent them from coming back in the future and to clean up the mess that they created. All right, let's go up there and take a look and see what we're dealing with. And now that we're up here, we can get a better look at the entry exit point that they're using. As you can see, that's a pretty decent hole that they're getting in and out of. And see all this black, almost dirt around it? That's our first telltale sign that there's bats in the area. So what that is, is that is sebaceous fluids or oils that the bats excrete. And when they excrete that, they pick up the dirt and debris in their environment. And then going in and out of the structure there, they uh, kind of rub off that dirt and debris and leave these black marks. Some people call them grease marks. Those of us in the industry call them sebaceous marks or sebum. Not only do we have the entry exit point here, but if you actually look at the soft events real close, they are actually caked with bat fecal matter. So all of that is going to have to get cleaned up, which means we're going to have to take this down, or at least cut this out and clean it up, because that is an absolutely biological problem to have in a home. You can also see where they've roosted before they've climbed in. You've got droppings on the brick and on the structure. These are all signs and ways for you to know if you have bats going in and out of your home. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and climb back down the ladder now. We're gonna grab my tool belt and a bat tube. And we're gonna install that so that we can start evicting bats from this residence. All right, so in order to do this exclusion, we're gonna need some equipment and some tools. First and foremost, you're gonna need a power drill or a cordless driver of some sort and fasteners. We just use these standard uh, roofing fasteners. They provide a watertight seal because of the gasket and washer uh, and come on and off pretty easy. Also, you're gonna want some sort of metal fiber cloth. We like to prefer to use copper uh, mesh fabric. Just, it's much more pliable. We can fit it in tighter spaces. I know some people like steel wool. We will use steel wool in some occasions, but in most instances, we'll use the copper fiber cloth. And then, you're gonna want your bat exclusion device. Now this is called the bat valve. We order these through our distributor. They are available online. I will go ahead and put a link below in the description as to where you can purchase these. But these bat valves are great because what we'll do is we'll mount this to the area that they're coming in. This section here goes over their entry exit point. And then you put this out where the bats can exit out of the tube, but they can't enter back in, which means that they can leave the home but they can't get back in. So let's go ahead, get up there and put these on. Attach the bat valve to the structure, but as you can see, there's a little bit of a gap there, some here. And we've got gapping up against here. So that is where the uh, copper fiber cloth is gonna come in. We're just gonna fill those spots with the fiber cloth so the bats can't get through there and they can only go out through the bat valve. All right, so there we go. Filled these gaps with the copper fiber cloth, but we didn't fill it so much 
that the bats won't be able to enter the tube. And so the bats that are up in this area will come, will try to attempt to come out right where they've usually been coming out. They will fall out the tube and because of the placement of the tube and the fact that they can't get back in it, this will keep the bats out and not allow them back in. Hence the word exclusion. So we will leave this tube up for about 10 to 14 days make sure all the bats have exited the building and then we'll do a permanent repair to make sure nothing can get back in here in the future and we'll clean up these soffits thanks for watching if you guys have any questions any comments need anything clarified do not hesitate to go in the comments below leave your thoughts and i will respond to each one thank you much till next time see you folks